Well, Merry Christmas from the barn. Mary and I would like to uh, just send you a video of uh, our fur Christmas card this year. And we'd like to first start out where things happened this year and uh, our first trip was to Arizona. In February, we went to the Air Museum and you wouldn't believe how much we learned about not just airplanes, but about the people that were in the service at that time, how it changed with having women in the service and black people in the service. It was uh, just full of history. Very educational. Yep. We have to also always, when we go to Arizona, is hike Silly Mountain. It's uh, not real high, but it's got a lot of paths on it, and it tells you how far you're going and how many hours you've walked or how many steps, if you want to do steps. But everybody was trying to guess why in the world they named it Silly Mountain. There was a lot of gold mining going out there at the time. And my take on the whole thing was people had tried all over that mountain to find gold and they didn't. So when someone else came and was going to go out there, they said, Oh, you don't want to go to Silly Mountain. There's nothing there. Yeah. Well, the next thing that we did was after... Uh Don had uh, a little hand surgery, and oh, Mary says I skip stuff here. What did we skip? There was a big snowstorm oh, last snowstorm. year in Arizona. The mountain that Mom looks out at out of her trailer was covered with snow. She had never seen that much on it, and every other mountain peak around was, it looked like white Christmas in February. It was beautiful. It's pretty neat. Now, after all doing my <clears throat> videotaping and my dance recitals, uh, figure skating, that's when I had a little hand surgery. And so that kind of took off a lot of summer activities. Wasn't able to go swimming or anything because I couldn't get the hand wet for quite a while. But well, we had visitors this summer too. Hiliana came to visit with her two sons. That was really fun and we just could hardly believe that as many years have gone by as there have been. These kids were here when they were 16, 17, and 18 and now they're close to 50. Hiliana was one of our foreign exchange students that, that lived with us for a year. Yeah. So it's really neat being able to, to reminisce and, and visit them. Then in July Don had the BCT play to do. In August, we took nine of the grandkids, plus Brian and Rebecca, to Utah. I gave the kids maps beforehand and told them to look and see what they want to see, because this is a scouting trip, and we want to see as much as we can in the 10, 11 days that we were gone. So they had a blast looking and seeing what was going on. We went to the Grand Canyon on the north side, we went to Bryce Park and they hiked all the way up. The can, canon, canyon gets smaller and smaller as it goes and they hiked up until it wasn't safe to go anymore because they thought someone would get permanently wedged in the end. And we, every day that we were hiking, it was at least usually quite around close to 100 degrees. And so you got to pack a lot of water when you go on a hike like yep. that. But everybody did and they came out okay. Nobody had any problems. Uh, we went to Las Vegas and the kids were excited. They got a recording of Elvis Presley singing Viva Las Vegas. They were filming out all the windows of the van as we were coming and going. Mostly we were at a standstill. There was so much traffic that day. But it was really cool because then we got to stop right by the Bellagio, which is a place that has water that shoots up every hour on the hour. Big water fountain display. Yep, and so the kids got to see that too. That was pretty neat. We were in Custer State Park. We went to Old Faithful in Yellowstone. We went to a, a dance and Indian music uh, up at Geronimo where they're making a statue out, of, out on the mountain. We saw petroglyphs, which was really thrilling, something that was made by the ancient people that lived there. That was about all we could pack in in, in 
10 days. Well, come, some of the places we went were kind of the off-beaten paths because the real popular spots were too many people. And uh, we found some really neat places and not a whole lot of people. It was kind of really neat. Remember the uh, fire forest? Yep. Or fire, what's it called, forest? It was, uh, but it was really, really neat to see. And once again, it was, uh, I think, like 107 degrees or something like that. But it didn't stop us, but it did stop one of the roads we could go on because it was closed. I don't remember why it was closed. But it was closed and we couldn't go on it. We, we were able to do a lot of other adventures. And the kids saw a lot of animals and a lot of different kind of things that we don't have here when we were going through the parks. And they were able to do a lot of rock climbing. Oh, a lot of rock climbing. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, when we got home, Chris and her daughter came to visit. Chris was our, an exchange student from Germany. Um, Hiliana was our exchange student from Sweden. And then on September 18th, we hopped on a cruise ship and went to Europe. Uh, we met with Heike in Rotterdam. We were in Copenhagen. We spent a whole day in Berlin, which was really interesting. With They have stakes all the way along where the wall used to be, just as a reminder to people. This was an independent country surrounded by another one who was technically their enemy during the war. Uh, we went, we saw old coliseums where they used to... Yeah, because, well, we said we started in Rotterdam, no, excuse me, we started in Copenhagen, then we went to Berlin, then we went to Rotterdam where we met Heike, then we came around to Spain, we went to Portugal, then we went back to Spain. And then we went around the loop and came into Spain again, into uh, Cartagena. Mm -hmm. And there we were un unable to meet with Marianne. She was just starting with her schooling and stuff, so it didn't work out. But, and then we went across over to Italy and spent a little time there. And then we finally finished up our tour in France. And we were with Jim and Janice Dirk's cousins and then Mike and Allie Leger. So six of us, we had a, had a super time. It was really neat. And then we come home and we have to go back to our remodeling project. We've been uh, moving walls and building new ones and painting and taping and whatnot to make the basement more usable. The wall outside of, on the south side of the house was beginning to crack and fall down and leak water in. So we had to dig that thing up and put a new wall in. Uh, the wall is gorgeous, the rocks are big, but it won't ever crumble yeah. in they, our lifetime, plus our, all our grandkids' lifetimes. They took either. care of that while we were on our cruise, so it was kind of neat to come home to that. It's just all the landscaping that has to be done yet. Don had surgery on his other hand in December. This one. After I rode to Arizona with my mom, she's been teaching me how to ride through, drive through the mountains. Um, we went through the Red Ca Salt River Canyon, red rocks everywhere. Uh, I couldn't watch anything when I was driving. I, j I watched the second time when she drove, because you have to pay attention on that road. There are so many people that want to see the canyon that it's crazy. Well, we just want to say, uh, let's see, we start out with a blessed Advent, Merry Christmas, and a Happy, happy New, New Year. Year. And thank you. And, uh, and if anybody wants to come to visit, we have a bunch of spare bedrooms again. Well, that's right, because in uh, September, Tony moved out, and he was uh, moved over to Ramsey, so we're uh, in the quiet household once again. So thank you. Love you all. Dakota says hi.